everyone. How are you? It is six o'clock East Coast time, which means we are going to be cooking together. Hold on, I gotta turn on my light. All right, we are going to be cooking together for the next, I don't know, however long it takes. So I don't know if you saw, but earlier today, I was talking about how over at temptations.com, our lidits are actually 40% off, most of them. And so we thought it would be really fun to kind of do like the sheet pan recipes that so many are cooking um, with our amazing lidits. So, hey everyone who's jumping on, Isabella, Joanne, Beverly, Ed Tesher's on. He's gonna be the recipient of some of this delicious cooking. Lisa's here, Joe's here, Lulu and Lucy are here. Like the whole gang is here because honestly, we just wanna have fun. We wanna get some great tasty meals out to our family because let's just face it, we're together, here we are, at home, cooking, having some food fatigue, and trying to come up with some different and fun creative ideas. So tonight, we're using all of our dips. So I don't know if you've ever checked out our dips, but we have Tara at Home Dips over at QVC.com, so you can check them out. You get six great dips. You can make them hot, you can make them cold. We're actually mixing them in with mayo tonight and some olive oil in some of our dishes, and we are going to kind of kick it up a notch as far as our flavor profiles are concerned. So quick hello, hey Chrissy, good to see you. Hey Sherry, you did say you'd be here and here you are. Hey Mary Jo, Mary Jo saying hi Lisa and Jo. Um, hey y'all, hi Marissa, good to see you guys. Mickey, good to see you. Oh. Holly's in the house, hi Halls. Hey Joy, good to see everyone, hey Megan. All right, so what do we have on the menu tonight? Lisa's gonna help me, but we have chicken. We actually have chicken um, ch chicken thighs, because let's just face it, they were on sale. Um, and so we're gonna do a little batch cooking too, right? Because throughout the week we wanna grab for things for lunch, so we're gonna do that. Then we're also gonna do some potatoes, because we had that, we had some shallots. So we kinda cubed all of those. We're gonna mix those in with our cheddar cheesy bacon mix. I'll talk to you about the mixes uh, flavors in just a second. And then we're actually gonna roast some vegetables. So we were able to get some asparagus and we were actually able, because we had it, some of our uh, green beans, we just gave them a quick wash and we are good to go. So we are going to do that as well. So protein, uh, starch, as my mother would love to say, <laughs> and veggies. She'd be very proud of me this evening. This is how we kind of ate growing up. So, hey Gil, good to see you. Hello, my friend, back at you. Hey Tammy. All right, so should we get cooking or what? Let's talk about those flavors. So sesame parm perfection. We use this with some mayo for one of the chicken uh, that we're gonna do, right? A little coating. Mm -hmm. um, caramelized onion we didn't use tonight, but delicious. Do you love that onion dip? Amazing. Um, sassy sweet pepper was the other one we decided to use with mayo for the chicken, because why wouldn't you? Little turmeric and some honey, love. Um, delicious pickle is my absolute fave. It needs no introduction. It needs not to be paired with anything. I could literally eat it out of the packet. Oh. I won't, however, for tonight, okay? Love this in my egg salad. Um, we use spunky spinach for our vegetables, and we use the cheddar cheesy bacon for our potatoes. All right, so let's get cooking. Elise, yes. should we, let's say hi to you first. Watch how this works. How quickly that works. I mean, she's in camo, so I'm not sure if you can see her, but she's here, Can't okay? See me. She's hidden. All right, so Lise, yes. why don't you start with yours yeah. and I'll start with mine. Yeah, so we started with three pounds of chicken thighs that were on sale. Um, we got them to room temperature, salt and pepper them, and now they're ready to go. So literally just going to take them out piece by piece. You do yours first. Lay it on the lid. They look so delicious. Do, I can't okay? even stand it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, the last time we did this show, by the way, which we're calling it a show, um, you guys said we were like Lucy and Ethel, right? Tipsy. <laughs> oh, and someone said Lisa looked tipsy, which was actually pretty funny. Um, I screenshotted that and uh, sent it to her. So for those of you who don't know, Lisa and I and the guys have been quarantined together for, I think we're going on week five. You going to save some of those for me? Um, okay. Um, I like if I have to. Look what we Jeez. did. And I know you always talk about this, right? Uh, even coverage yes. of the lidded. Of the lidded. So, food. yeah, in case you're not familiar with our lidded, they're cookie sheets, they're cutting boards, they're serving platters, but they're also bakers. But here's the deal. You really do need to make sure. Can I steal one? I knew you were going to do that. See, I took the big one, too. Mm -hmm. So like that. That's what I have to deal with all the time. She's such a diva, mm -hmm. meaning me. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. Okay. So. 
So, what do you have? All right, so you're I'm gonna, gonna do, do sesame parm. Okay. okay, and I'm gonna do my sassy sweet pepper. So, we just have some cute little basting brushes. All we did was mix it in with some mayo. If you're making these dips because you want them as dips, um, it's sour cream and it's mayonnaise if you want them cold. If you want them warm, these are like, I'm telling you, they're superheroes, these dips. You this, can do them so many different ways. Oh God, smells so this good. smells I delicious. I think we just left out the sour cream on this and we just doubled the and mayo, And we just doubled right? the mayo, yeah. right? Yeah, because we're gonna be baking these, which is so nice. Um, and then if you wanted to make them hot, you can melt them over a brick of cream cheese. Because who doesn't love that? This is awesome. So all these different flavors. I have a new product idea. What? <laughs> We need to make these little things. Yes, they're look, called basting brushes. They look, it looks like, well, it either looks like how you get your hair highlighted. Oh, right? Speaking of. Speaking of. Did you guys see our crazy picture that we posted? We actually, um, our amazing hairstylist sent us some, what would you say? Um, base Ke color. Chemistry project. Uh, we get it home. It's in like baggies. She gave us a tutorial. This was well above our pay grade. <laughs> Neither one of us had any right to be doing anything like this. Scary but thing. we did it. Lisa went first. Not by my choice, but she went first. So then I got to kind of like pay attention and learn. So I think we did all right. Yeah. You know what? What are you going to do? Yeah, meaning I had to do her hair first. Now imagine doing your boss's hair first. I am not your boss. You are. And uh, so, not true. Like, could you imagine if it came out purple? I, mean, I think that would have been time, a great story. I'm staring at her head like... Is it green yet? What's gonna happen? I'm like, throw it on there. She's like painstakingly pulling each hair out. I'm like, Lise, just throw it on, it's fine. We'll just fix it. All right, let's say hello. Uh, Leanne is saying hi. I didn't see that, I have to go look, Rosalia, about uh -oh. her hair. Oh my God. Um, okay, so real quick, here is the proper coverage on one of our lidits. So you wanna make sure that the entire lidit is covered, and there's a couple of reasons why. It's stoneware. And when you're putting things in the oven, two things. You wanna bring it to temperature at the same time, okay? So you're bringing everything to temperature, the stoneware and the oven together. And then you're also gonna to wanna to make sure there's full coverage. Otherwise, what happens is you create hot spots. And then when you create a hot spot, you have the potential then to crack that lid. Okay, so Lisa, you wanna put those in the oven and I'm gonna chat about real quick. Yes. She's gonna bring the oven to temperature along with those. And I'm gonna just quickly chat about what we've been doing. So we washed all of our vegetables in our colander. Head over to temptations.com. This was and still is our Tara's must have until 6.30 tonight. Woo! Okay, 23 minutes, no pressure. Um, free shipping and handling, under $20, gets it home. Everybody can use it. It's stoneware, it coordinates back, and it's absolutely beautiful. I think every kitchen has, of course, a colander. All right, so let's now talk about what we did with our potatoes. We're gonna do those on one of our other lids. So I happen to love the multicolor potatoes. I like them for a couple of reasons. They're small. You can get them in the bag. You just give them a quick wash. And then we did that and strained them through the colander. And what's nice is not only do they provide a beautiful color, but they're kind of all the same size. So when you're slicing them, you kind of get that even performance, that even heating all the way around because everything is the same size. Okay, so uh, we actually tossed those in a little olive oil before we started. We cut up some shallots and by we, I mean Lisa. She was sweet enough to get this all ready, um, which I love. And then we're going to toss in our packet of our cheddar cheesy bacon. Because when I think of potatoes, I think of cheddar cheesy, I think of bacon. So I'm just gonna give it a quick toss in the bowl. We added some olive oil, then I'm gonna turn it out onto this lid it, and then we'll see, make sure everybody's coated, everybody's in the pool. We're gonna get everybody on the uh, on that lid it. Now I always say, you don't have to season it, you don't have to spray it, but if you want to, you certainly can, and if the recipe calls for it, feel free to do that. Okay, so I think we did pretty well. A few jumpers, thanks, Lise. You're Everything looks nice and coated. I am gonna give it a little smush. That's a very technical cooking term. Smush. A smush. How do you spell that? I'm not sure. Smush. Smush. I wonder if they know how to spell smush. And you have to say sh smush. How do you spell it? How do you spell it? You probably don't because it's a made up word. That is what happens here. All right, I gotta tell you, the seasonings smell delicious. Yeah. Look how great. So this is on one of our 11 by seven. 
How, how many pounds of potatoes was this? Was it about two and a half? About two and a half. About two and a half pounds of potatoes. So when you're thinking about, okay, capacity, how much can I make? Mm. Look at this beautiful, Lise, this looks awesome. Yeah. With the shallots, the beautiful coloring there. I love the tricolor of anything. Look, we eat with our eyes first. This is one of those great, super easy. Now we can roast these potatoes. Yeah. And we have the seasoning already done. You know what I love about this? Hold on, Seriously. I can't see you. Stand by. Wait, I'll nope. Come over. Oh, I could turn it. I, um, we can spin it. No. No, that it's We're just, very fancy It's here. so pretty, and it's like, to think that this lidded is a baking sheet. Yes. We really cut the vegetables right on here first. Yes. Well, first we put it in the colander, yes. right? <laughs> Drained it. We did. <laughs> then you can cut right on yep. here. Put it in the oven up to 500 degrees. Yes. I mean, when you think about all the steps that you save. Right. I mean, this looks too pretty mm -hmm. to put in the oven. Seriously. Or would you think that that's your cookie sheet, right? You, normally it's metal, it buckles in the oven, you can't yeah. control its heat. So all of our, almost all of our lidits over on temptations.com are 40% off. So mm -hmm. what a great deal. And the reason why we did that is because we're going into the warmer months and we're gonna be barbecuing. We're gonna be making hot dogs and hamburgers. Yeah. I know we do, we throw chicken on the grill. Um, we throw veggies on the grill all the time. Mm -hmm. So we're always cooking outside, even when it's just Ed and myself. Obviously we're quarantined with these two, so it'll probably be part <laughs> Party of four, um, and that's fun, True right? Story. That's fun. True All right, story. let's say hi. Oh, Linnea's here, Ed. She says hi, uh, and that's awesome. She loved the boats. Uh, Linda's a shmush. She spelled it S H M U S C H. Love you. And by the way, that extreme close up probably wasn't necessary, but. Apparently, I might need some glasses. Um, okay, Mary Jo saying she's loving the white. I love everybody over on Instagram. I wish, like, the funny thing about Instagram is, like, Stones304. Like, hey, Vicky Meeks. See, Vicky Meeks, I like that. Uh, RJ Russo, are you coming over? Oh, he cannot be held back another minute. Ladies and gentlemen. Hi, everybody. The man of the hour, Edward Tesh. I just wanted to come by and, and tell you, smush is a hit. It is? Yeah, so you need to... Hashtag? Shmush. Hashtag shmush. Shmush. Hashtag sh Look, ready? Hashtag shmush. Hope Hashtag everybody's shmush. well. Good to see everybody. You ready to eat? Uh, I mean, I'm... I'm I'm fascinated just watching. Well, all right, but well, we gotta get back to we cooking. We look forward to it. Okay. All right, I will circle back with you, I promise. Right. But like, we're on a clock here, okay? <laughs> we're getting great recipes together, uh, super easy on multiple lidits, really, because this is kind of our sheet pan cooking, all right? So did your mom, when you were growing up, did you have like This is gonna be potatoes? a loaded question. No. <laughs> okay, so let me tell you what about the baked, okay. I'm gonna put the tongs down. Oh boy. Because we're gonna have a moment. I'm gonna take the knives away. Let me tell you about my mother, Gail and our baked potato situation. Oh and by the way, Lisa knows this, she's just not remembering. So I'm gonna turn it a little bit so you can see her face because okay. when she remembers, she's gonna, her mouth is gonna open. Maybe that's why I asked the question. So we would do baked potatoes. Yeah. And then my mom would hollow them all out, right? We'd hollow them out and then she would take the um, skins and she would line it with butter and then she would go over to the toaster oven and she would toast them still in that, what do you call it? Skin, thank you. And that's what we would eat. So if you've ever heard me say that everything in our home was a vehicle for butter, everything in our home was a vehicle for butter. And then insert Ed and our marriage, and he's not a huge butter fan, so he just laughs at my mother and I all the time. What did I butter the other day? And you were like, you're not buttering that. Oh, pizza, pizza um, crust. Okay, so we ordered pizza out mm -hmm. and the pizza came and we're all just kind of finishing pizza and Tara looks at me and she says, do you have any butter in the fridge? And I said, what do you need that for? She did actually, judgy. It, was judgy. <laughs> it was judgy. It was actually kind of like, Well, hmm. totally, because I'm like, what do you need it for? And then <laughs> she took a knife and she put it on her pizza crust. Hey, we are in quarantine, okay? I, True confessions, I am going to butter the crust of my pizza. Hey, I didn't make a cake today. <laughs> By the way, Lisa's not allowed to make cakes. Let me tell you about a story. Okay, I'm gonna do this one. Can, can you put that in the oven? And then I'm gonna tell the story. Okay, so the other night, we made a cake for our dear friend, MC, for his birthday. And it was really sweet. We called him, we sung, we sang, we sung, we sang to him. And it was really very sweet. But Lisa had made this delicious, cause she's evil, okay. vanilla cake, which is my favorite and Joe's favorite, her husband, um, this vanilla cake with sprinkles and a cream cheese frosting. Oh my gosh, yes. I mean, come on. Anyway, so we had it real quick. I put the asparagus on the lidit 
and the green beans. So let's put the green beans mm -hmm. also on the lid. It. Hmm. Let's see how we. I think I'm gonna like. Cut some of those? No, I actually think I'm gonna kind of do like a little like hazy. Yeah. I like Bear that. with me. Bear with me, peeps. Let me just. This looks really good. This, this well, is first a super all, healthy dinner. Though, really. Anything green is great. Well, we have a protein, we have a starch, and we have a veg. My mother would be very happy. Otherwise okay. known as a carb. A carb. <laughs> True story. We don't we don't say that bad word in this house. So um, we are home. Ed and myself. I forget what day it was. What day was it? Uh, it was Friday night. It was Friday night. So I am sitting on the couch, and we are watching uh, something. I forget what. And I look over at Ed, and I go... I actually can't stop thinking about that cake. And he's like, see if she has it. I go, knowing Lisa, she threw it away. Like, hopefully she threw it away. I'm not texting her, forget it. A minute, two minutes, feels like a hundred hours goes by. I'm like, I'm gonna text her. Hey, Lisa, did you throw out that cake? Two seconds, nope. And I can hear her, nope, because she totally knows what my motive is, okay? So by the way, I just put some olive oil on our asparagus and our green beans. And now I am going to top it with our spunky spinach dip. This is delicious. Yes. If you've ever had those spinach dips in restaurants, on par. Okay, just gonna just gonna tell you that. Okay, those are available over on QVC. Yeah. So if you check out QVC.com and you do Tara at home, you'll see all we have sweet dips. Oh, by the way, when you order something from Temptations.com this month in our month of gratitude, we're actually going to ship you. Thank you, my friend one of our sweet dips to try. So we did a cozy cappuccino, a creamy coconut, and a razzy raspberry. So anyway, I digress. So she says, nope, I didn't throw it away. So then I say to Ed, geez, like this is worth it. Like this would be worth it for me to drive the five houses, should have walked, drive the five houses and get it. <laughs> so now there's this internal war with myself because I want this cake and I know I really shouldn't be going down to get the cake because I had a huge cake piece the night before. So I have no willpower and I look over at Ed and I go, I'm actually going to get the cake. So I send Lisa a note, hey, can I come get a slice of cake? Well, we're just jumping on a family Zoom. I'll leave it on the counter. Just come in the slider and grab it. This is how pathetic I am, I'm serious. So I get here, she doesn't have a slice. She has the whole rest of the cake. Like here, you take it. Get so what do I do? Here. I go right to her dishwasher. She's, it's just run, it's clean. I take out a plate, I cut a piece of cake, put it in my car in the front seat protected and I drove home and I ate it. And by the time Ed came to me, I had finished it and I said, you know what? It was totally worth it. And I stand See, by that story. Aren't you so glad? You know what you actually texted me? If I do takeout. <laughs> oh yeah. Hey Lise, do you do takeout? Can I do drive-by? Can I come get some dessert? Uh, yeah, okay, so these are done and they look amazing, okay? Wow. So all we did, a little olive oil, a little salt and pepper, and we put some of the spunky spinach. Yeah, All right. perfect. I'm gonna add these with the uh, potatoes. So I've been talking to you guys, and clearly I haven't been concentrating, let's full disclosure, um, for 15 minutes. And we have put together two different trays of chicken where we used our saucy, our sassy pepper, and we used our Parmesan parm, mm -hmm. our sesame parm. And then in our potatoes, we cut up a few shallots and we used our cheddar cheesy bacon mm -hmm. dip, perfect. And then with our veggies, we actually did our asparagus and our green beans, because that's what we had, that's what they had. And we used our spunky spinach dip. All we did was put olive oil with the potatoes and the, and the veg. And with the chicken, we just mixed it with some mayonnaise because that's gonna give it that nice coating when you're baking it. How long are we gonna bake the chicken? About 25 minutes? Yeah, so I, so I put it in for 20. It's yep. 10 minutes it's left. It's reheating, we'll right? It. Yeah. So she put it in a cold oven, as we mentioned, bring the baker and the um, food and the oven all up to temperature together. So usually we got chicken thighs, we're batch cooking, we're gonna have this now, we're gonna put it on Caesar salads. We're gonna maybe put some barbecue sauce on it later and make a barbecue Caesar salad. We'll do something awesome. Hold on, I have a question. Oh, question. Are, are you actually gonna like text me at 2 a.m. and ask me if I have takeout chicken? By the way, <laughs> if I am up at 2 a.m., the house should be on fire because literally I do not wake up at 2 a.m. So there would have to be something extreme to get me, mm -hmm. other than the dogs needing to go out, there would need to be something. That's a whole other story we can talk about later. Okay, Cassie, good to see you. Hey, Doreen, hey, Tracy. Hopefully we're not being too silly, you guys. Uh, love my Yankees and G-Men. Ed, what did you mention about a colander? Ah, okay, I didn't even see that. Love my Yankees and G-Men. We are New Yorkers. Ed may be a Met and Jet fan, but 
don't hold that against him. Um, our colander is available over at temptations.com. Um, until the next uh, 10 minutes, no stress, um, we've sold out of various colors and multiple patterns. So this is our stonework colander. There's the beautiful drain holes. You have the beading that runs around the edges, the helper handles, great, great, great. So you're definitely gonna wanna check that out. Um, the shipping and handling, the free shipping and handling goes away um, in 10 minutes. Um, hi, Silly. Silly is good, especially now. You know what, Margaret? We totally agree. I agree. We just want to have fun. We want to take a break from everything and uh, just kind of check in and just be with all you guys. Jen Bot says hi. Back over here. Today's my birthday. California Corey. I hope I'm saying that right. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy, happy birthday, my friend. Um, Angie's saying, can I put frozen biscuits on the lidit, then put it in the oven and bring it up to temperature? Exactly, Angie, but here's the deal. Make sure you have enough biscuits that you're covering the lidit or pick a smaller lidit, right? So you don't always have to use a 13 by nine. If you have an 11 by seven, if you have an oval, just make sure that 95% is covered. But that's a great question. And then you can bring it up to temperature. So this is our lidit, this is our 13 by nine, our wavelength. So you would wanna make sure you could probably I would say what, about 16, 18 biscuits would probably fit on this depending. Mm -hmm. I mean, if they're big biscuits, if they're biscuits you wanna put butter on, uh -huh. yum. Okay, so we are super excited. Um, Ed, would you like to say something? We're getting ready to wrap up. He's coming. I put him on the spot. Everyone's hey, saying hi, Lise. Everyone's excited. Uh, Hawthorne, California. Jackie's, Jacqueline is in the house. If we order something else along with the strainer, do we get free shipping on? No. So the free shipping is for the strainer. Do you like that? The, Lisa's like, I go, no. She just starts laughing. For the colander. I just want to make sure I'm clear. I'm sweating, by the way. Is it hot in here? No. Oh, man, right. <laughs> it's the cake. It's the cake. It's the butter. Yes. What's up? Um, I'm almost speechless just watching and listening. Are you excited? I am beyond excited. Are you hungry? Well, that's a relative issue. I'm always hungry. Mm -hmm. So, yes. Ed doesn't... It does smell. I, we have to figure that part of this out. What, smell of smell how vision? How to bring forward the Yes, scent. yes. Uh, Maura is asking how your dad is. Uh, it's great. Thank you. I, I'm hoping some of you, and thank you, so many of you have reached out. It's heart. It's completely... It, it touches all of our hearts more than we can express. But he is a, he's a miracle. We're very, very excited and proud of the fact that he has fought the fight that he has fought. And as some of you might not know, he last week came down with the uh, coronavirus uh, in New York. Uh, he's 90 years old. He has fought more than most people in this world could even understand. He has actually doctors now falling over him to get into his room to try and understand what just happened. He but, said, I just need them to leave. I need some rest. That's what he said he, to us the other day. He's in what is medically defined as they understand it now in remission. And uh, I'm excited to say that he hopefully will be home in about a week. So we take it day by day, so right? we take it day by day. And we thank all of you for your prayers. And it's just amazing. He, as we have affectionately said so far, he's a medical miracle. He sure is. So I have to believe that that's all of the prayers from all of you in this incredible community. And thank you guys so very much. So we are going to get to dinner. Lisa, did I forget anything? Um, you know what? What? We, See, I always forget something. If we don't have their email addresses, we need oh. them. Oh! That's how we can let them know. It's a great point. Time. So when you're over on temptations.com snooping around, and remember, we're going to sh ship you a sweet dip whenever you purchase something. So if you pick up that colander, boom, sweet dip. Um, check out our um, email campaign. We would love for you to join us because we send out emails in advance. We let you know what's coming up as far as our Tara's must-haves and all that scoop. Mm -hmm. And we also have a newsletter where we kind of keep you in the know. So if you're interested in that, come check it out. Everyone's saying they're glad uh, Sydney is better. We are too. The power of prayer, absolutely. We are firm believers. So we are going to get ready uh, to eat. May I do a quick cameo? Joseph? Oh. Lisa, <laughs> hi guys. How we are, are ready to eat. We are. This extreme close-up will not last. Don't worry. You know the lighting on one side, the, the it's a well, little shiny. Well, so here's how it works. Ready? <laughs> here's full disclosure. Lisa remembers to charge her ring light. This is what provides a little light. Tara does not. Well. Therefore. 
the lighting is better on one than the other. True so, confessions, yeah, butter, know. lighting, it like is, I have it issues. Is, it is a pleasure that you get to share with me, my wife, because uh -huh. right there, hey, says it all. I am who I am, I make no and apologies. I, would, I wouldn't want you any other way. <laughs> all right, everybody, Mwah. Um, great to see all of you. Thank you, thank, thank you. you. Thank and you, everybody. hey, check back here tomorrow night at 7 p.m. Mm. Eastern time, because we may just have our next Tara's must have. I think it's a flame and deal. It is a flame and deal. Lisa, <laughs> hired forever. Not only as my hairstylist and my hair care professional, <laughs> but as one of my besties. As they say in vaudeville, we're here all night. <laughs> Try the veal. Try all right, everybody. Take care. We'll see you real soon. Bye-bye. Bye, everybody.